Hey guys, last year I posted two videos of a bookshelf tour. One of my main bookshelf in my room and the other one of my two smaller bookshelves, one in a guest bedroom and one that I keep near my breathing treatment area. But since that time I have reorganized my main bookshelf and gave it more of a personal touch. So I wanted to show you guys what my updated bookshelf tour looks like. I will not be going through each book one by one of what I have since I have already done that in the previous bookshelf tours so you can go and check those out if you want any new book recommendations or anything like that. But all of my updated books and what books I have um, I've also done book hauls. So not much has changed of what books I have, um, so I'm just simply giving you guys an overall tour of my bookshelf. Starting at the top of my bookshelf, I have what is my classics and my childhood favorite books. So on the left, I simply have the big beautiful books that either look like classics or they are classic books. And on the right are all of my favorite childhood books that are my favorite that I wanted to keep or that I will share with my future kids. And on the far left is a Princess and the Pauper Barbie doll that my grandma had given me when I was little. And here on the first shelf is my fantasy and sci-fi themed shelf. On the left we have Star Wars books and on the right are my Harry Potter books. Then for decorations we have my Janna Funko Pop from The Rise of Skywalker Episode 9. And this is a little illusion little box that someone gave me where on one side it is Darth Vader and on the other side it is Yoda. And then over here is a BB-8 mug that my friend had actually given me for Christmas. And for some reason how it's made, I'm not able to drink out of it, but it did add a perfect touch of color and contrast to the shelf, so it is perfect for decoration. Then this is my newly added Funko Pop of Harry Potter, which just goes perfectly with my Harry Potter collection. If you guys want to hear more about why I chose this one, you guys can go ahead and check out my recent book haul and unboxing video. Then for my second shelf, this is my fairy tale and Oz collection. So on the left here, I have fairy tale books relating to Beauty and the Beast, and then I have my Grimm's fairy tale books. And everything on the right is all of my Oz books. On the left here, we have the 1997 Holiday Collectible Barbie, and then these are the little mice from Cinderella that my friend had given me because those are literally my favorite sidekick characters in Disney princess movies. And then we have my Funko Pop Belle. Then on the right here, we have my Galinda Barbie doll from Wicked. One of my friends gave me this as a gift and it is very special to me. And then this is a VHS of Wizard of Oz for the 50th anniversary and it too was given to me as a gift and is very, very, very special to me. Then we have two little red Dorothy shoes, red ruby shoes. And at the base holding it all up is my Wicked the Grimmery book that I've talked about in my previous videos. On the third shelf, I have my Nancy Drew collection and I have my Charles Schultz Peanuts collection. For decorations, I have a few Peanuts characters. So back here, this was a little figurine that my cousins had given me with Snoopy and Woodstock. And then these are two little small um, Charlie Brown and Snoopy holding Woodstock. And this is my Charlie Brown Funko Pop. Then for my fourth shelf, these are just books that didn't fit into a specific category like the other ones do, but a lot of them are some of my favorite books, or books I'm currently reading, 
or different plays that I wanted to keep on this bookshelf for reference. Um, but for decor, these are a couple of my favorite toys from when I was younger and I just look at these with so much nostalgia and I wanted to keep these on this bookshelf. This was my very first My Lil's Pet Shop and it's a little hamster and I just remember I was so excited to get this hamster so I wanted to keep it. Then these were my two favorite my Little Pony dolls that I have just loved over the years that I wanted to keep. And for the last bookshelf, these are just different yearbooks or my musical theater books or different collectible books that I've had from different musicals that I've seen. So that is it for my bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Again, if you guys want to know more specifically of what books I have on my bookshelves, you guys can go and check out my previous bookshelf tours and also my book hauls or book wrap-ups. I'll link a playlist of all my book videos so you guys can go and check it out. Um, but I absolutely love how my bookshelf now looks. Not only is it aesthetically pleasing to me, but it's just a bookshelf that I just love to have if you guys are interested in any book reviews or anything like that, be sure to comment that below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn that post notification bell on so you're notified when those different book reviews go up or if I get books down the road in the future. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps my channel grow and help people find it. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram to stay updated with my life. <laughs> and be sure to listen to my podcast, Blooming Roses, where we share stories of growth while blooming in adversity. You can find it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and wherever else you stream your podcasts. So that's it for today's video, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!